Okay, so today uh, I've got another unboxing. Kind of excited about this one. I've been wanting to do this for, I don't know, like a year, and I just hadn't gotten around to it till now. So if you go to uh, Woodcraft at all, if you're on their mailing list, um, they just sent out their Christmas flyer uh, a couple days ago, I think it was. And one of the things that was featured there, which is actually pretty hard to get, like at, at my Woodcraft, this was the only one they had, at least it was the only one that was, was on display, is this Nova G3 Chuck for the lathe. The thing that's special about this one is uh, the price and what it comes with. So a lot of the Chucks, you either get just the basic chuck itself and, and maybe one set of jaws or just the chuck and no jaws and that and that's it. But with this one, what's really awesome and what made this uh, a really good deal is you're getting, of course, the chuck with just a standard set of jaws, but you're also getting three other sets. I don't remember if it said what they are, but basically there's, there's one that you would use for like pen blanks or things that are really small. Um, you've got one of the bigger... I'm not I'm not a big lathe guy. I don't turn a lot, so I don't know all the proper names. But one of the one of the big chucks that you would use to hold a bowl turned around um, so that you can finish up the the base of the bowl. Uh, a couple other things. So pretty exciting. Uh, that's what I'll be that's what I'll be unboxing today. If you need a chuck for your lathe, now is the time to strike, especially if you have a, a small lathe like mine. Um, the the normal price for this setup is 300 bucks. It's 150 right now. And you're getting this whole setup for that. The the other one I'd been looking at, uh, it was also the Anova. It was, it was a different set, but still the, the basically the same chuck. I think it was 119, and only came with the one, just the one set, just the one set of jaws. So this is a much better deal. But I doubt they're going to stick around. Um, they're they're going to sell out quick just because of how good of a price it is. I know that last time they did this deal, which seems to happen, I don't know, maybe once or twice a year. Last time it happened was right, uh, it was within like a couple weeks of, of when I bought my lathe. And I went in hoping to get one and they had been sold out since like the second day of the ad. So if you want to get on it, that's something you got to get on quick. Um, I haven't checked to see if they have it on the website. I just went to the, the woodcraft that, that we have here locally and this was the only one. There is one thing that it doesn't come with that you will need. That is the threaded chuck insert. This is what you would use to connect the chuck to the lathe. And uh, the reason these are sold separately is because there's different sizes depending on what, what, uh, what lathe you have. Mine, um, that you can sort of see in the background there, is just the, the 10 by 18 lathe from Harbor Freight. It's probably considered a pretty low-end lathe. But when I first decided to get into this, I wasn't sure I was actually going to like it, so I didn't want to invest a lot of money. But I've been really happy with it. Harbor Freight does these 20 or 25% off coupons quite frequently. And so I think I ended up getting mine for less than $200. Um, so pretty reasonable for, for a starter lathe. And for the types of things that I turn, it's the perfect size. I have a very small shop, so a full-size lathe with the size of jointer and bandsaw and things that I have, just it wouldn't fit. Anyway, if you happen to have the Harbor Freight lathe, which I think this is the same as the Grizzly 18 in, or 10 by 18 lathe, I don't know the Grizzly number, but I'll I'll find it. They're basically the same lathe, just with different stickers. Anyway, for those, it's the same one, the same uh, insert, and this is the the one by eight right hand. Let's open the box. All right. I think this is just the standard chuck, the standard G3 chuck that you would get if you bought it separately. Nope. These are just some of the other jaws. Here's the chuck. If you are looking to pick this up, this is the SKU that you need for Woodcraft 150699. All right, I'm gonna open up the chuck first. Okay, instructions, chuck key. 
There's the, the actual check itself. There's one of the sets of jaws. In this one we've got a couple of uh, small screws. I'm assuming these are the screws that are used to attach the, uh, the jaws to the check itself. And then we've also got one of these, I don't remember the proper name for it, but it's a screw that when you have your blank, you can drill a hole into the blank, thread this guy in, and then you can put this in the check to hold your workpiece. Okay, more instructions. Coal jaws, that's what the big ones are. These little nubs screw onto these plates that make up the coal jaws, and the idea is that you put them on whatever hole is required to fit your workpiece centered on the chuck. There's one of the smaller sets that would be like for pen blanks or whatever. And then what looks like just a smaller kind of standard chuck. Let's see if there's proper names for these. Okay, so the different sizes that you actually get, you get a set of 50 millimeter jaws, 35 millimeter bowl jaws, pin jaws, and the coal jaws. And then, of course, all the stuff to go with it. And this is called the woodworm screw. So, there you go. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is take this out of the bag and try to clean off some of this grease on the outside. And then we'll pick a set of jaws and we'll mount it to my lathe. And then just see how it does. Brush cleaner is the only solvent I have handy, so we're going to give that a whirl Let's see if we can't get some of the schmutz off. And if you happen to need the same insert that I do, the Woodcraft number for that one is 153008. I think we're ready. We'll just go ahead and try to attach it to my lathe. And then we'll just fit on some of the jaws and see what we can do. Alright, so we've got the lathe here. I've already unplugged it. The spur center is what's in right now. So we're going to take that out first. Okay. Alright, so for this first part, there is a set screw that goes past the threads. And we need to retract that a little bit. So you'll just use the smaller Allen wrench that's supplied with the chuck to back that out until it clears the threads. And then we can go ahead and thread it on, and it looks like it's a perfect fit. The idea behind this set screw is if you have a lathe that's capable of reversing, this is to lock it in because if you were to run it in reverse, then the, the chuck could unthread itself. Mine isn't that fancy, so it really doesn't need it, but I'm going to tighten it in anyway. All right, I don't have a lot, I don't really have anything ready to go for the lathe to test it out with, but I do have this bowl that I started a long time ago. What I think I'll do is see if I can flip this around and connect it this way, though I'm not sure that I have enough of an angle on the bottom to do that. One thing that you should be able to see is there's a number etched into the end of each one of the, the moving pieces of the chuck, of, of the jaw mechanism. And looking at the actual jaws themselves, they have similar numbers in the back. So I'm just going to match those up and then use the screws that came with it to mount that. All right, I think we're ready to go. I've got the chuck wrench. Slide that in here, and then just twisting that, we should be able to either open or close the jaws. This bowl isn't gonna work, it's too big. So I'll go down to the smaller bowl that I have.
so we'll try that out and see if I can't clean up the underside a little bit. So we're just going to try some light passes. Uh, this I don't have a proper bowl gouge, but I do have one of these Easy Wood Tools, uh, I don't know, whatever the one with the round cutter is called, I don't remember. that works. I'm not going to go through and hollow out all of this bowl, not with this particular tool anyway. Um, for that I'm going to wait until I can get a proper bowl gouge. But this was good enough, for me at least, to see that, that this does perform quite well. Alright, so that was with the 50 millimeter jaws. I'm going to try just threading on the others real quick just so you can see what that looks like. Alright, so here's the cold jaws with these little rubber bumpers. They've got a, a regular a, a screw that uses an allen socket on that end, but they also came with a set that just use a regular flathead screwdriver, so you can go either way. I'm going to try mounting this in. Okay, there we go. So that's how the coal jaws work. I'm going to swap these out real quick for one of the other ones. Okay, so these are the pin jaws. You can tell they're a little bit different than the 50 millimeter jaws um, because these have two screw holes, these have only one. So I'm going to go ahead and mount these real quick. There's the pin jaws, and there you go. You can hold really narrow stock that way up to, or down to, I should say, whatever the diameter is of that inner circle. All right, let's try the last set. We've got the 35 millimeter bowl jaws which are quite similar to the 50 millimeter, except that um, they don't have two holes, so like the pin jaws are just a single screw hole. So there we go. There's the 35 millimeter jaws. So we've got four different sets of jaws now. We've got the 35 millimeter, we've got the 50 millimeter, we've got the pin, jaws and we've got the coal jaws which for a small lathe like this I mean that pretty much takes care of just about everything at least everything that that I'm going to use this lathe for so anyway that is the Nova G3 chuck set from Woodcraft I think it's a really good deal I'm not sponsored by Woodcraft or anything like that I paid for this with my own money um, I just thought it was a really good deal and I'm impressed with it, so I thought I would share uh, for anybody who, who may be in the market. Like I said, at least at, at the local woodcraft I have here, they didn't have a lot of these. So if it's something that you want, you want to get on it quick or they're going to sell out. But they have offered this in the past. But I saw it there, uh, I don't know, like a year ago maybe. So chances are they'll probably do this again in the future. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm not a turning expert. Like I've mentioned before, this is my first lathe. This is my first chuck. So I'm a total noob when, when it comes to this stuff. But I like it, it's fun. I plan to do a lot more turning, especially bowls that are kind of this design. I really like the, the shape of, of this bowl, kind of an Asian inspired look. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you wanna see more things. Talk to you later.